Good evening and welcome to Christ Church Thornton on this Monday evening for our 6 p.m. nightly prayer for the nation. Thank you for joining me. You might notice it's daylight behind me. That's because I'm recording this on Monday afternoon. Please forgive me for doing that. But wherever you are and whatever time you're watching this, we can still offer our prayers to God. So let's bow our heads now and do so. Loving Father God, be with us in our distress, with our families, friends and neighbors, our country and our world. Give health to the sick, hope to the fearful, and comfort to the mourners. Give wisdom to our frontline and key workers, insight to our government, and patience to us all. Overcome disease with the power of your new life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our special focus of prayer on the Monday evening is for schools, colleges, children, and young people. Let's pray. Almighty God, we pray for all those involved in the shaping of young lives, for teachers, for head teachers, for teaching assistants, for nursery workers, for support workers, for those working behind the scenes, those forming educational policies, but especially, Lord, for those sat right now in classrooms or sat each day in classrooms teaching frontline and key worker children. We thank you, Lord, for their sacrifice and their commitment to keep teaching. We recognize for some teachers they're having to do it from home, virtually, and the demands and the fatigue involved in being in front of a screen all day. We recognize, too, the demands, Lord, of teachers teaching in person and the fatigue caused through, um, from looking after and, um, and working with, with young people. We thank you for our teachers. Thank you for their diligence, their care, their professionalism. And we ask tonight you're blessed all those locally in Thornton and Cleveland working in education. May they know our thanks, may they value our prayers, may they know your strength and your protection in the midst of this pandemic, Lord. Please keep them safe, protect them from this virus. We pray, Lord, for the children at school, day in, day out, working hard to try and catch up with education, to try and learn, but without many of their fellow pupils, Lord, please give them the the, the metal, the strength they need, Lord, to get by in these difficult times. We pray for the children at home who can't come into school and trying to get an education in front of a screen or perhaps no screens in some instances. Lord, please guard and protect them. Protect their health, protect their emotional health. And Lord, please um, give them all they need to continue to grow in intelligence in their um, development as, as human beings, Lord. Bless their parents and their guardians. Give um, your special blessing to households and families trying to work, trying to learn in the midst of these difficult times. Lord, please um, be kind and merciful to families in that situation. Give them the help they need. Give them the emotional resilience, the the love and unity that we need in a household. And a real focus, Lord, on, on, on looking after children and persevering and, and, and grasping and learning as much as they possibly can. So, Lord, please do protect our children. We pray you'll protect them from harm and that, Lord, as they look back in years to come on this particular year and 18 months, Lord, may it not be something which shapes their future in a negative way, but may it give them the strength to, to persevere in life and to, and to just show great resilience. We thank you for our local schools, Lord, for Rose Brook, for Stanner, Baines, Thornton um, Primary School, Sacred Heart, for local nurseries, for high schools such as Millfield and colleges at Blackpool and Fylde and Myersco and Blackpool Sixth Form. We ask for your blessing upon them, provide all the resources they need in terms of funding to flourish and to serve our local communities. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught us to pray, this time tonight in traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In church yesterday, we were looking at the book of Colossians, the letter that Paul wrote, the apostle, which says that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. And so part of our prayer must surely be that children, young people, teachers, parents might come to know God through the person of Jesus in whom all the fullness of God dwells. Our special prayer for this week called the Collect resonates with that theme. I'm going to read that now and just listen to these words and echo them in your own heart and mind. 
Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and have made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. And a final prayer for any who might be suffering this evening. Almighty God, thank you that you've revealed yourself through your Son, Jesus. May all those suffering tonight know Jesus, know his joy and his peace. And may they know the strength of God. May you be an ever-present help in trouble, a refuge, a sanctuary. Ease suffering, give hope where there's despair. Lord, surround those who suffer with your love and your strength and your presence. And for those who care for them, we thank you for their skill and compassion. May that continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night and God bless and see you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining me.